when we are asked to find LCM and HCF, for example, part two, 510 and 92. So let me just do it over here. Five hundred ten and ninety-two. So there are many methods to it. One method is uh, you find out the common factors first. Okay. If I do this by division by two, that means half two five five, and this is forty-six. Anything else common in them? No. There is nothing common, isn't it? It is divisible by 5, it is divisible by 2, not 5. So no common thing. So therefore, I HCF is 2. And LCM would be, what I will do, I'll just multiply these numbers. Okay, 2 multiply by 255, multiply by 46, sorry, 46. Is that thing clear? That is yes. 4, 6, 9, 2, 0. Okay, that is the, no, not this thing, sorry. This will be 2. Three, four, six, zero. That is it. So this is one way. Should I teach you the another way? This is common. Another way is you find out the prime factors. Of both. Two, three, five, and seventeen. And 92 will give you 2, 2, and 23. So if you see common is just 2. So HCF is 2. And LCM is, I'll take the common ones and rest of them. 2, 3, 5, 17, Multiply by 2 and 23. Is this thing clear? Oh, yes. These numbers I have written one one time. Whereas this is the common number. Can you see that? So if I just multiply these numbers, I'll be getting 2, 3, 4, 6, 0. So this is how we find LCM and HCF. These are the two methods. Any doubt? No. So whichever method you like it, you can try. Now, the question was to verify that LCM multiplied by HCF is equals to first number multiplied by the second number. So solving left hand side. So that means LCM into HCF. So 2 into 2, 3, 4, 6, 0, which will give me 4, 6, 9, 2, 0. Now solving RHS. Solving right hand side. That means first number 510 multiplied by 92 which will also give me 49620. So we'll write, hence verified. Is there any doubt? No. So quickly copy this thing and do the remaining parts as homework. 